install illuminated door seals on a 2015 Scion XB, which will reside in the lower portion of the door panel area here. Now what you get in the kit, what they include, you're going to get two custom lighted door seals that will place on the vehicle. You get two extension harnesses that will connect the power to the lighted door seal. Electrical tape if you choose to rewrap your wiring once you've got into the power and ground. A micro test light to test for power to find out where you're going to get your power from to actually go ahead and power up the lighted door seals. And an instruction manual that explains all of the details you need to install these items. Now let's get started installing the lighted door seals. Okay, let's get on with the installation. First, we're going to go ahead and remove the door pin switch to check the color wire we have. Okay, so on this XB, what we show is a light green wire. So you can either remember that or you can write it down, you're looking for a light green wire in your wiring harness. So I'm going to go ahead and re reinstall this really quick. Okay, now that we have it reinstalled, we're going to move on to the door seal. We're going to pop off the trim. Okay, as you see, we've got the door panel trim pulled off. There's going to be two clips here. You're going to push in, release, push in, release. Now I have some extra wires here because I have an aftermarket stereo installed, but we're going to pull out the wires that you're going to need. Okay, if you can see this little harness here with the black tape on it, this is the factory harness. Now what we're doing is we're going to look for that light green wire. Now I've done some pre-installation here to make the video a little shorter. Now if you look here, I've got the light green wire here. I've already attached a connector to that light green wire. So next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find a 12 volt power wire. Now that's going to be a 12 volt constant power wire. In this case, it's going to be this pink wire here. Now what you can do is, you can hook onto your striker here, get your test light, and you can confirm you have 12 volts. As you can see there, I've got 12 volt power, constant power. So once you determine the 12 volt power wire, and you've got your colored wire for your door pin switch, which is going to apply your ground, then you're ready. Next step, after you've done all that, is you're going to go over here and you're going to take your wire extension. Now, I've already pre-connected some spade connectors for the connectors that I have on the wiring harness, and I'm going to go ahead and plug those in now. You're going to match your red wire to your power wire, and your black wire to your door pin switch wire. Once that's done and complete, then you just have your connector here. Just lay that on the side. Next, you're going to get your door, custom door seal. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a little bit of alcohol or some kind of glass cleaner. And you're going to clean your surface here really well. Okay, now that we have that cleaned really well, you're going to pull up on your door seal, and you're going to notice there is a soft portion right here in the middle. That's where you're going to want your, run your wire across. So once you pull the seal up, like so, you're going to find the flattest area on the bottom of the car door here. And you're going to find out where the seat's, the seat's actually the best, which is going to be right about there. Make sure it's nice and even all the way across. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take off your two-sided tape protection. 
like so. You're going to go back. You're going to slide this in to where it should be. And make sure it's nice and even. That looks about right there. And you're going to push it down. So I'm going to apply a little bit of a pressure. Like so. And now that should be in there. So then, next thing you're going to do, you're going to route your wire in and around that soft spot I was mentioning. Like so. You're going to reattach your door seal. So now your wire is on the opposite side of the door seal with your connectors, and you're going to connect your harness. Like so. And as you see, now we've got power, ground going to our connector, going to our door seal. Next step, we're going to take this wire, we're going to take a tie strap, we're going to put one tie strap here, we'll take one more tie strap, we're going to put a tie strap here, make sure we even out the wiring. Like so. Once we've done that, next step, take some clippers, just clip off the extra, like so. Then you're going to take the excess, and where you have your wire loom, you're going to stick this down into the, con into the uh, housing so it latches like that. Now all your wires are tucked nicely away. Like so, okay, easy peasy, just like that. Take your door seal trim here, line it back up, like so. And you just place the it back on. Now your door trim's back on. Now you're going to want to peel your protective coating off of your custom door seal. It's a little difficult to do with gloves on, but you get the idea. And there you go. All installed. And as you shut the door, you see it goes off. As soon as you open the door, you're ready to light up the world. <clears throat> Let me tell you, these are great products. I've had the fronts for years now, and they work perfectly fine, no failures. LEDs are nice and bright. This company has a quality product. And all I gotta say is, you see how easy this is to install? How long did that take, 15, 20 minutes? You can do this, it's really simple. It really makes the upgrade in your car. Thanks for watching.